Hello everyone, here's the video you Galaxy Watch and Pixel Watch wearers have been waiting for. A stable Telegram client is now officially up on Play Store, I installed it about a month ago and here's my review of the latest version. It's a paid app and I believe it's worth the price, plus it gives some incentive to the dev. I've also got some giveaway promo codes for you guys, stay tuned till the end to grab one. Just head over to Play Store on the watch, and search for Telegram or Weargram, then hit install. Let's check the screenshots till it's being downloaded. Alright, opening the app it says Weargram, let's go ahead and log in. It says the app is an initial release so it'll naturally have some bugs and missing features compared to the phone version of Telegram. But I want you to see this app is a companion app that can be used to create a new chat, or reply via text and voice to your friends quickly over Wi-Fi or without taking your phone out. Login is simple, you can do that with your phone number, or using a QR code. I'll use the QR code login. Okay, now if you have two-factor authentication, you can input the password here. And, we're logged in. I can see the new version has ironed out some bugs from the early builds. Let's check out what you can do. You can view full chat histories of your conversations. Reply via text, voice or send a voice note or hear one sent to you. You can view pictures. You can start a new chat. The app also has folders functionality. GIFs and animated stickers work in the new version, that just got released while making this video, although they do take a toll on the processor as there are multiple of them on the same chat page. There's personalization settings. You can disable auto-download for stickers or GIFs and the dev has also added performance settings. Experimental settings has some more options to toggle. You can zoom images that are sent in your chats as well. Tapping on website links in the app, opens them up in Samsung browser, that's cool. Apparently you can download document files on the app but I'm doubtful you can install APK files directly without ADB. But do let me know if you guys tried that. Opening a chats from user ID works in this version as well. That's mostly what you want to do on your watch. The dev aims to build a stable quick and usable Telegram client for Wear OS watches and I think people would be happy with the current functionality. Notifications don't work currently with Weargram, so for now you'll have to use the notification stream from your phone's Telegram app. Maybe that gets included in later versions, but I guess that'll drain a lot more battery like WhatsApp for Wear OS is doing right now. For me it's good enough to see images or send a new message and receive notifications over Bluetooth so I get the option to quick reply from phone notifications or if I want I can open it in Weargram manually. I do have high hopes from the app and I think it'll be so much better in the future versions and I want to support the dev's work by bringing in more users to the app for feedback and bug reports. The app is less than $5 which is really reasonable for such a potential. There are limited giveaway codes for now so be sure to grab them right now.